This is Insurgency Broadcast Network. As you know, Donald Trump is a racist at his core. They say he's a racist. A racist. Well, let me do it again, and let me do it in two languages. Es un racista. He is a flat-out racist. That didn't work. That was the mainstream media's uh, plot to take out Donald Trump. Well, that didn't work. Okay? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Uncertainty Broadcast. My name is Chad. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to discuss a couple things with you guys and it regards President Obama and George Soros. And if you're new, thank you again for tuning in. And please subscribe to our channel and help us spread these messages out as far as possible. Now, President Obama, he is planning to stay in Washington, D.C. Uh, after he leaves office. So his post-presidency, instead of doing what every other president has ever done, which is just basically disappear <laughs> after they're finished, he's going to stay in Washington. Eventually, you have to move out of the White House. Eventually. And you got to find a place. And Boy. how do you compare to that? Well, they found one. <laughs> but it's not uh, very, very normal that they stay in Washington right after. And it's really a shame because George Bush gave Barack Obama at least the decency and respect to let him do his thing. What did George Bush do? He went to his ranch in Texas and started oil painting. Right? Started painting oil. Now, Obama, you could do the same thing. Move away to a far corner of the United States, we'll go back to Hawaii, okay, and, and paint and draw or make music, invite Jay-Z over and make a rap album. Obama said, chill, you gon' get me impeached. You don't need this anyway, chill with me on the beach. Why are you gonna stay in Washington, D.C.? Because George Soros is the puppet, puppeteer of the Democrat Party, okay? And he got everybody by the strings. He has Obama by the strings. He has Nancy Pelosi, who's a minority leader in the House, by the strings. He has all these top Democrats in their pocket. He is a billionaire, New World Order investor. In the last two years, you've been blamed for financial collapse of Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Japan, and Russia. Yeah, all, of the, all of the above. That's, all of the above. Yeah, yeah. And as a matter of fact, George Soros, he met with top Dems in Washington just a day ago, and they're preparing for all-out war to stop Trump's agenda. Now, that's another reason why President Obama is going to stay exactly where he is in Washington. The leftist billionaire George Soros reportedly gathering his liberal troops pulling key Democrats together for a three-day convention in Washington, D.C. at this hour. Now, George Soros, let's, let's remember this. George Soros, he's the one who started all these uprisings in Europe, like, let's say, for the Ukra Ukraine. He bought and paid for protests in Ukraine to go against the existing government. And what had happened? It toppled the government. That's when Russia got pissed off. Like, what is going on? This freaking liberal parasite is going into countries, starting uprisings, okay? Not for the interests of the country itself, but for his own special interests. Because George Soros represents the New World Order. And what do they want? A one world government. Why? So they can control everything. It's always been about power and control. And now there's proof that violent protesters are being paid at least 15 to 22 dollars uh, an hour. Uh, I'm going to put a little screenshot on here to show you the job listing. He has protests in this country now that are bought and paid for. And what does he want to do? He wants to foment unrest. He wants to foment violent riots in this country to create a narrative that the majority of this country is against Trump, when that couldn't be further from the truth. That's why Trump won. Now, the mainstream media is going to continue to bash Donald Trump day in and day out, because that's all they do. Okay, but that's fine, because they're lower in the bar for Donald Trump. All Donald Trump doesn't have to do is take the KKK on a huge march throughout the country killing black and minorities, because that's what the mainstream media is thinking he's going to do. So that's all Donald Trump doesn't have to do, and he'll be a successful president. Well, let me tell you something. All you, uh, you long, young millennial liberals out there and the mainstream media, this is all lie and corruption. The real hatred comes from the radical left. The real hatred comes from the radical left. Trump supporters are getting their ass kicked across this country 
and it barely gets reported. When you vote Trump, damn it. You voted Trump! You voted Trump! Oh, we yeah. Trump! Yeah, we voted Trump! She's been now this is completely against everything that this country stands for, which is free speech, expressing your own political opinions without violence and getting your ass kicked. Okay, and you know you express your protest at the ballot box, but they didn't do that. They didn't do that. So anyway, now Donald Trump is starting to purge <laughs> lobbyists uh, from the transition team. Way we're hearing about the purging of lobbyists by Mike Pence. Well, that's an indication that my, that Donald Trump wants to keep his mantra of not owing anybody, including special interests, anything when he walks into the Oval Office in January. Now, the mainstream media hates it. That's why they're saying Trump's team is in chaos. But what really happened is most people, to be honest, even on Donald on Donald Trump's team, really didn't think he was gonna win. Chris Christie was in charge of the transition team and Chris Christie, Governor Christie of New Jersey, he started hiring, you know, what he knows, what he knows how to do. People who are attached to special interests and lobbyists. And then when Trump won, he was like, what the hell is going on? We can't have this. He demoted Chris Christie, put in Mike Pence, his vice president, and they start purging lobbyists and special interests from the White House transition team. And the New World Order hates this. So they sent out the message to the mainstream media. And the mainstream media hates it, that they're not getting these old political establishment folks who've been destroying this country to run the transition. So the media calls it chaos. Media calls it chaos. You know, you know what I call it? A political revolution, a shakeup in Washington that needs to be done. Donald Trump, he's pushing away lobbyists just like he promised, so he's keeping his word on those things. But the media hysteria won't stop and won't end. And we're, and we're gonna see this going on forward. Now, George Soros, after he met with the top Democrats on Capitol Hill, He's investing, what, like a billion dollars for the next four years to make sure that they try to do everything they can to stop Donald Trump's agenda. So what is that going to include? It's going to include the paid protesters. It's going to include the mainstream media demonizing everything Trump does. They're going to double down on the racism. They're going to double down on the anti-Semitism, like they are doing with um, Steve Bannon, which is pathetic. Which is there's no proof of him being any kind of anti-Semite. Uh, he basically ran a news organization, handed off from Andrew Breitbart. He's a businessman. He served in the Navy SEALs. He graduated from Harvard. He's very smart. And guess what? He helped get Trump elected. What? He's not going to bring him in an inner circle? Of course he is. But he's so effective. The mainstream media knows this. So they're going to do everything they can to demonize him and demonize every pick that Donald Trump goes with going forward. Now, the mainstream media are never going to learn. This is just helping Donald Trump. They're never going to learn. They're never going to sit, think, and be like, hmm, what did we do to cause even more people to go to Trump? Because guess what? The American people hate the media. We hate you. You lie left, right, center, no matter what. You're full of shit. And the people stood up to you. And now you're doubling down on your bullshit, which is obviously telling and obviously expected because that's what you are, bullshit. Everything you say is a lie. Everything you spew is a lie. So there, the hysteria is going to continue with everything that Donald Trump does. But you know what? As long as Donald Trump backs up what he said in the campaign with actual policies, Stops these interventionist wars, stops with the special interests and the lobbyists, renegotiates these trade deals, stops TPP, stops the corruption in Washington, bring in some outsiders, bring back jobs, and build back this economy, and of course, kill Obamacare. It doesn't matter how much the media is going to be crying, okay, and then trying to scream racist from the rooftops. Okay, because eventually once these policies go through, the media is just going to jump off those rooftops and basically commit suicide because that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Now, as Trump begins to purge these lobbyists and bring in new people, I'm, I'm really excited to see what he does. Um, let's all keep in mind that we have a long way to go. Uh, we need to make sure Trump is protected from here till January 20th and beyond, obviously, but we, he got to get in office. 
Okay, he has to get in office. And I know George Soros, he's pretending, he's um, preparing a violent, violent riot on January 20th, Donald Trump's inauguration day, so he could protest the inauguration in a very violent manner. And we expect this to happen. Um, we expect them to go forward with these promises. But it's up to the people of this country to understand where it's coming from. This is death, death throes from the New World Order. They're flailing. They're panicked. They're going to do everything they can to destroy Donald Trump. The media is going to back up that narrative with 100% BS. But just as they lied to you and told you that 95% chance Hillary Clinton's going to be president, they're going to lie to you every step of the way during, during Donald Trump's presidency. Do not tell me that Donald Trump is in this to win this, okay? He's a sideshow. This is going to turn a three-ring circus into a freak show. So, Jenny, could he actually win? No freaking way! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, complicated business. But at the end of the day, I think Donald Trump, he's keeping his words across the board. The people are behind him. And we're going to run over the establishment and the Washington, D.C. elite media because they're irrelevant now. They have made their set themselves irrelevant, regardless of what they do or say. It took one campaign for them to lose the rest of their credibility, which was just 6% of the American people, and now it's zero. And now it's zero. So I, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to keep reporting on this, making sure these protests don't get out of hand. But if they do, um, you're going to know that it is George Soros who is fomenting them and the mainstream media validating them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Chad, and I'll be back with another Insurgency Broadcast. Insurgency.